it seems like a lot of people are on the defense. And I say that because I listen to a lot of people on YouTube give good information, logical information, information that are researched and with fact. And people say, that's not true. That can't happen. Why are you saying that? And, and I'm like, hey, it's great to live in your belief. It's great that you believe what you believe. However, if you want some type of um, conversation that is constructive, then maybe you should be open to somebody else's opinion, especially when it's not just an opinion, it's a fact. Um, if you don't agree, just say, I don't agree, and let me go do my research. Um, a lot of people really don't do research. So, and sometimes I say, sometimes I don't do research, but that's why I don't talk about what I don't know. If I don't know, I just shut up. I just be quiet, and I try to be receptive. And I try to say, hmm, I got to go look that up. And I, what I would say is, um, I don't think that's accurate. You could be totally accurate, but I need to go do some research. Um, or I'll say, I don't know. I really don't know, but let me look it up. A lot of people need to learn humility. Um, I'm still working on it. Oh, my God. So uh, arrogantly confident that sometimes I let that stop me from becoming the best student that I can be. And I want to be an excellent student. I know so many people have so many different ideas, and some of the ideas that they have are are beyond mine. They're um, really well thought out and researched. And um, me, being who I am, I need to always be open to other people's thoughts, because how else can I grow? I don't want to be stagnated. I don't want to stop. I want to become better. I want to be better. I want to make other people's lives better. And um, the only way I can do that is to be open to learn from other people. Now, there are always going to be things that go against my uh, philosophical views. There's always going to be things that I totally don't agree with. However, um, it doesn't mean that it's wrong for you. Like, um, it depends on your lifestyle. It depends how you want to be. Um, I, okay, a lot of people talk about certain things, and maybe I'll go in a little bit. However, I'm never going to go against nature. Like, meaning, I know that most women want to be mothers and a lot of men want to get together with women and I'm never going to knock people for doing that. However, I will say, I always think about the consequences of your actions, always be um, responsible and always try to be as safe as possible. And don't put yourself in any situation that you don't want to be in. Now, let me go off on a tangent real fast. A lot of people tend to forget that power goes in groups. Um, with a collective, you can achieve things that you can't do by yourself. So I'm never against the group. I don't think people understand that. However, um, I am all about what I need to do. So sometimes the group overall will have things I don't agree with. Um, like I never agreed with when I was in the military uh, that soldiers that have families got paid more than a single soldier because they're all doing the same work. Why does this person deserve more, be it a man or a woman, than a person who is at the same pay level at the same time? So I, it's an incentive to be married. But then again, uh, why don't you just pay everybody the flat rate, the same money, and it, it shouldn't be any other uh, financial gain. It should be benefits, like maybe uh, their, their children get benefits or because you're married, you get an extra room or something. But when you start giving them extra money, uh, that makes people, uh, in my opinion, is not getting get married for money more than for love. And that may not always be the bad thing, but it's neither here nor there. But the whole point is there are always going to be rules to a system that are to the group that you don't agree with. But sometimes you need to go along with um, the things you disagree with for the benefit of the group. Like, you know, I really don't think the speed limit should be 80 on the freeway. But they said 65, I got to go along with the group. <laughs> I'm making jokes. But uh, really in life, uh, always be receptive. Um, don't always be on the defensive. Try to be open-minded. If, if you don't agree with something, just say, I don't agree, and uh, I haven't done as much research, or let me find out. And if you know what you're talking about, then be um, ready and able to state your facts so then people can't um, always misconstrue your information and tell you that you're wrong. Sometimes people can be right and a lot of people will go after an argument will go and do research and they'll say, you know what, I must uh, redress this situation and offer an apology to the person because I was in conflict with their opposition and um, I shouldn't have been because they were correct. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say. Um, I just want to have a little goofy light going on and I just feel like uh, talking a little bit. Um, I love people. I want people to do well. I don't come from a negative place. I come from a place of love. So every time I talk to somebody or whatever I'm saying, it's usually from, um, I want the world to be a better place. How can I help it be better for you? What information can I tell you that I don't think other people are going to say? Um, now, I will say this. You must respect the rules of whatever place you go to. If I go to a page and everybody's cursing, and I, you know, I'm not going to go, stop cursing. Don't talk to me like that. But if they come to my page and I say, hey, there's not going to be no disrespect. Don't come to my page disrespecting other people. Now, if you guys agree with that, if, like let's say I was having a, a group hangout, I say anything goes, and somebody start cussing to somebody else. As long as the two participants are with that, then by all means go at it. But um, I will always protect 
um, people who come to my page and I hang out for a safe haven because I don't want anybody to disrespect anyone who doesn't want to be disrespected or once they establish that they think it's disrespectful, then you know what? Uh, we should end that conversation. And that's one thing I have to say. You must learn to respect each other. If you want respect, give respect. Res- that type of disrespect of natural humanity should be something that should be automatic. Now, people can earn your respect, meaning, man, I didn't know they were that high level. Let me show them a little bit more um, appreciation or a little bit more um, deference when I interact with them. However, um, the respect between people um, should be innate. And when I approach anyone, it's always going to be respectful for me until you come at me crazy. And um, I'm still pretty oblivious, so my response is not how you think. Because you can go off on me all day, and I'm like, oh, that's great. And now what do you want to do? I'm going to take it to that level. So... And I may say something like, there's nothing but air and opportunity. So make your move because I'm going to react on your level. <laughs> this way you won't want it. <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Um, I may make one more statement. This is something totally not to do with this. Uh, I really believe in everybody learning some type of combat sport. I really have become more of a uh, proponent, a, a person who understands her and appreciates wrestling. I just don't like how your ears start looking. But I understand it's, it's a sign of wrestling. But just to understand the basis of it um, and understand how to do it, learning how to protect yourself and learn to, to be confident in situations where you feel that you're in danger with one person, um, I think is of paramount importance for, for men and women to understand how to protect themselves. So when you're empowered like that, um, you feel that you can face the average danger that you, you may interact with. And it can be used in almost any situation if you understand what you're trying to do. Anyway, um, people, I've said enough. Um, have a great one. Put the mood the light down low. Turn off the lights. <laughs> I'm joking. I want you all to feel fantastic and wonderful. And, uh, you know, I may do it. I've been motivated a little bit. I'm going to think about it. I may just do a, another red pill session of teaching game. Because <laughs> I got a thumbs down. It made me feel so great. Maybe I get another on. I'm like, no, don't you do it. <laughs> all right, people. Much love to you all. Love somebody. Smack her on the butt. Smack them on the butt. Smack somebody on the butt. You know, the best way to tell somebody, did you love them? Come here, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you something. All right, I'm done.